Please tell me you're not in there. Marcus, Marcus, there's snipers on the roof. Snipers? What are you talking about? They're human. I'm sorry, they're, they're not supposed to be here. Dushan must have hired them. Why are you whispering? I'm not whispering. Hey, man, I'm not going in there. Look. So tomorrow, they're trucking out these machines to the polling places, and what are we supposed to do? Reverse engineer them? No, that's not feasible given our time frame. The virus is military grade. The only prudent course to destroy them all. Destroy them all? <laughs> what do you want to do, blow them up? Or it's a military base. There's explosives. The voting machines plays the election. Yeah, we expose the tampering and give people time to make an informed decision. Hell yeah, hey, I'm sold, Josh. You sold? Okay. Mm. Isn't mm. blowing up voting machines kind of extreme? Hell no! It's like Josh said, we buy time for the election. It's a civic service, essentially.
got them all. Now you should probably get out of there. video using the stuff he got in the penthouse. Check it out. Mm. Citizens, Invite Corporation has been using your sacred vote as a plaything, targeting you individually. Invite manipulated your emotions to give support to their puppet, Mark Thrust. But DeadSec hacked into Invite and changed their algorithms. Polls reversed instantly. Invite, desperate to elect Russ, resorted to their own form of hackery. Here, Invite CEO Mary Catskill delivers a virus destined for voting machines to mark Thrust himself. The election has been delayed. Citizens, use this time to think. Do not allow yourselves to be manipulated. DedSec implores you to think before you vote. DedSec has given you the truth. Do what you will. Uh. Our followers think nailing thrust is the big win here. But it's only the frosting on the cake. People are gonna be doubting their own opinions now. Nobody's going to admit to getting played with this election, but every pro-thrust voter is now wondering if they were. We've welded Bloom and the CTOS to the idea that big data is invasive and shitty. Yup. One big invasive Shitty cake. <laughs> You're terrible. Love it. What's up, right? I'll show picked up something strange from the Galileo. <sighs> it's code, but the comments are in Chinese. Oh, tell me the Chinese didn't hack the satellite backbone already. Not the satellite. Submarine cables connecting China and the U.S. That's not even the interesting drop your pants part. Bloom's been monitoring the hack. Joshua says mm. the hackers are stealing data and using it to make a mint on the New York Stock Exchange. Hackers turned inside a trader, so it's not the first time this happened. Yeah, we'll get this. The program the hackers are using? Drum roll, Josh, please. Pattern recognition software. Sure as shit looks like bellwether to me. And Bloom knows? So why are they sitting on it? Well, that's why we're talking. We have nothing solid to go on, except our Chinese hackers use their access to pre-clear a cargo ship landing mm. in San Francisco. Their shipping containers just arrived at the board. I'll check it out. Mm. 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 Yo, Sitara, what's the container number I'm looking for? LV... Four, two, six. Oh, seriously? You testing my geek foo? A bit, yeah. It starts with S-I-B-U-707. <laughs> okay, I see it. But I got other containers in the way. And I have to find a way to unblock it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> calm down, calm the fuck down. Riddle me this. Who around here is Chinese and deals in human trafficking? Anti shoe boys for sure. Yeah. Well, it's some high end human smuggling like I ain't never seen before. His container is nicer than my last apartment. I'm sending you a picture. Got it. Who is he and why does he have a bloody nose? Noodle Translate isn't his friend. Yeah, he's not your running the mill cargo either. Not sure what I can do with it. Let's see if he can match his face online. My guess, he's got an education if they went to all this trouble. Right. I'll start with Chinese schools and get back to you if I find something. Okay.
Oh, and by the way, uh, welcome to America. Marcus, I found your guy. What you got? Graduate of Shanghai Jiao Tong University. He's got a double master's in statistic and business. He's a quant. They definitely need him to number crunch that stock market data, which means the Auntie Shoe Boys are in the business of insider trading. I have a contact in Chinatown who's connected with the Auntie Shoe Boys. I'm sending you his coordinates. Maybe he can help you get answers. Hey, you know this guy? Yeah, you're just full of attitude, aren't you? Look, I know the Auntie Shoe Boys are bringing them in. I'm trying to find out why. No, I don't fucking know him. We don't all know each other. Satara said you could help me out. Give me something here. Why didn't you say so? Auntie Shu has an office in the import-export company on Gold Street. They keep records there. But you tell Satara this makes us even. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Mm. Heads up, I'm checking up on a lead in Chinatown. I think it's an Auntie Shoe safe house or something. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay, keep an eye out for anything we can use related to the stock market hack. Aw, that is so nice. <laughs>
Inside peek and maybe find out why Bloom is letting someone use Bellwether on the stock market. Only problem is, it's out of range. Okay. Barge won't be linked to CTUS, and she'll use Chinese protocols. But I've got a fix for you. Easy peasy. I'll patch you in on my side. Just get your phone to a clear location. I'm sending you coordinates to a lighthouse in Marin. Make sure you look around. The views spectacular. 